Okay, so now we're going to look at finding the number of periods and the rate uh, with, with payments as opposed to lump sums. So we're going to start with finding the number of periods if we're trying to save $5,000 and we can make yearly payments of $700 and we want to know how long it's going to take us to if we earn 7% per year. So this is finding the number of periods, finding out how long. So we would go in here, go to our formulas, financial, and find number of periods. So the rate is 7%. The payment I'm going to enter in as a negative $700 and the future value that we're trying to raise is five thousand dollars hit ok and it tells us that it will take us six years to reach that goal and then we change up the problem and we say well what if we're going to make quarterly payments of four hundred dollars and the interest rate is six percent and we're still trying to get to five thousand so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the interest rate for the frequency of the period so since we're looking at quarterly, we're looking at 1.5% per quarter as our interest rate. And then our answer is going to show up in quarters, so we're going to have to make it annual. So again, I'll go to number of periods. And the rate now is 1.5%. Payment now negative 400. And our future value, the positive 5,000. And it says it's going to take 11.54 etc quarters so if I want to know what this is in years I'm going to take that answer the 11.54 I'm going to divide by 4 and it'll tell us that it's going to take us 2.89 years or just a little under 3 years if we deposit $400 every quarter so it doesn't come out exactly even and then we can do the same thing with the interest rate so we have a problem where we're working to try to to gather up or accrue $5,000, so that's our future value, by making payments again of $700. And we know that we want to have that money by the end of six years. Maybe that's when we want a down payment for a house or a car. So what interest rate would I need in order to get to that point? So I've got the numbers down here, and I'm looking for the rate now, that interest rate. So under financial, I'm going to scroll for rate. And I'll put the number of periods in as 6. Payment again is negative 700. And the future value that I'm trying to get is 5,000. And I hit OK. And it says I would need a rate of 6.94%. And then doing this uh, one more time, but only uh, this time looking for a rate um, based on quarterly payments. Uh, I'm going to show you one more thing that you can do whichever way it makes the most sense for you but this is now saying six years but we're making them quarterly so we're actually going to have 24 periods um, the interest rate that we're going to find is also going to be say a quarterly and then we also have to adjust our payments um, so since we're doing seven hundred dollars a year if we divide that by four we get 175 but I'm going to leave the 700 here and make the adjustment in our box so I'm going to click here and I'm going to say I need the rate. And where it has the number of periods, I'll just click where it has 24. But the payment I'm going to make an adjustment on. I'm going to put a negative 700, but then I'm going to divide by 4 here because you can do your math up here uh, in the box. So I could have done the same thing here for the 24. I could have put 6 in this box down here and then put the times 4 here and it would work. Uh, one thing to note is you don't use an equal sign so it knows to do the math. And then our future value I'll put is 5000 and put OK. And the interest rate is 1.48 percent. That's a quarterly rate. So times 4 to get annual rate. So 1.48 times 4 Turn that back into something that looks like a percentage. And it says 5.93% annually. And that's a non-compounded rate. 